Well, it is soup season, so this morning I wanted to go back to the basics. So here's this week's Britney's Bites. It is that time of year. It's sort of gray and gloomy outside. We just want to cuddle up and have comforting food, especially if we're getting those illnesses off and on. You got to feed that cold, right? So to do that, I'm making a soup today. It should just do the trick. It's one of my favorites. I could eat soup every single day of the year. I'm starting with sort of the base of a soup that I love, and you can add to it and make it your own. So I'm just going to do a basic noodle soup. But I love doing soups at home because really you can control the ingredients most importantly you can control the sodium I don't know if you've ever looked at the back of a can of soup in the grocery store aisle Ooh, the sodium is usually out of control so this is a way where you can make it at home and feel good about what you're serving to your family so let's get started on this noodle soup I have a pan heating up I'm just gonna put a little olive oil in the bottom of the pan and then I've already done the prep work and this is what might take you a little bit of time I have one medium onion it's actually kind of large so it's gonna be a lot, I may or may not use it all. I'm gonna put that in here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. We don't need it that high. And then to that, I have two stalks of carrots, or two carrot stalks that I have, oops, chopped up. And then two celery stalks that I've chopped up. Let me stir this. And we just want this to cook down with the other things I'm gonna add in in just a moment for about ooh, seven or eight minutes or so. You don't want it to get brown, you just want it to get softened. To that, we are going to add three cloves of garlic that I have minced up. You can chop it up, dice it up, do whatever you like. And then we've got fresh thyme that I've got four stalks that I just sort of pulled the leaves off of and then chopped a little bit. Now, if you don't have access to fresh thyme, you can use the dried thyme. Obviously, just walk it back because we know that dried spices pack way more of a punch than the fresh spices, but the fresh, the fresh herbs just give it so much. And then to that, we're gonna add a bay leaf. So we're gonna add that in, and again, we're just gonna let this cook down for about eight minutes or so, and then we'll move on to the next step. So this is still cooking down. I wanna mention, this is sort of one of the steps where you can start to make this your own. Obviously, this is a great base for a chicken noodle soup. So if you wanna add chicken, it's great if you get one of those rotisserie chickens, right, and you have some extra leftover, or you're making several recipes with it, put some of that in. Now, I'm gonna put noodles in this as well. So for me, even though I'm a vegetarian, I don't really need the tofu. I'm fine with the veggies and the noodles and the flavor of the soup, but you add, whatever you would like. It is smelling great in here. These are nice and cooked down a little bit, so I think it's enough to move on to the next step. Again, I wish we had smell-o-vision, right? It smells so great in here. This is why they call these aromatics, right? Okay, so to this, we are going to add two quarts of broth, whatever you like. No surprise here, I'm using veggie broth, but use chicken broth. Hey, mix it up and use beef broth, turkey broth, whatever you have. You just need two of these cartons. And we're gonna pour it in here. And once we do this, we're gonna bring it to a boil before we add in our noodles, which will gonna be the final step here. So we're almost done. Once you get all of sort of the prep work ready, you're good to go. All right, one more of these. All right, once I get this in here, I'm just gonna crank this up to high, and once you bring it to a boil, we're gonna add the noodles, and that's when I'll come back to you, and we'll go on to the next step. You can see here our soup is boiling, so now it's time to add the noodles. Now, I am doing sort of a smaller portion of the recipe, so I'm only gonna do half of these egg noodles, but if you want, and you have a big family, or you want lots of leftovers, do the whole bag and just double everything that I've talked about. Of course, I'll put the exact measurements online so you can look at that, and then just double everything else. I like noodles, maybe a little more than half. <laughs> That's pretty good. So I'm just gonna stir these in, and when this comes back to a boil, we're gonna simmer this for about eight minutes. And then you really wanna keep an eye on that, remove it from the heat, because just like when you're making pasta, noodles, you don't want it to overcook. So you want to take that off immediately, and then we're gonna add in the seasonings. You may notice I haven't used any salt and pepper yet. That's because we wanna find out how it really tastes before we add more than we need. So we kind of wait till the end in this case to add any salt, and of course, I'm definitely gonna add pepper. I love pepper. So I'm gonna bring that back to a boil, cook it for eight minutes, and then our soup is basically done. The soup just finished boiling. I immediately turned down the heat. I'm gonna take it off the heat. So we've got our noodles cooked and ready to go. Now we wanna sort of just do one last step as I scooch this over and check the seasoning here. 
It's smelling great, it's looking great, but I know I'm gonna wanna add a little bit of salt and pepper, definitely some pepper. And I was using low sodium broth as well so that I could control how much salt I'm gonna add. Okay, I think that should do it. And then we have our noodle soup all ready to be served up. Obviously we'll wanna remove that bay leaf as well. Looks gorgeous and it smells so great. This is gonna be so nice to have in your back pocket if you need something nice and comforting and fairly easy to get you through these gloomy months. So I hope you give this noodle soup a try, dress it up or dress it down as much as you like. Cheers. And remember, if you have a picture of one of my recipes you've made you'd like to share or you have an idea for a future segment, you can text us at 614-460-3345 or you can find me on social media.